Cream, and welcome to my channel, Baking and Buttercream. Today we'll be making rich Oreo truffles. So let's take a break and bake. Today on Baking and Buttercream, we're going easy mode with these rich Oreo truffles. They're so good, but they're so easy. So it was the perfect dessert for a party or when you're going somewhere because they don't take that much time at all, but yet they taste so good. Now let's make those Oreo truffles. The ingredients that you need are 36 Oreos. I shaped mine into the letter B for baking and buttercream. The last ingredient for the truffles is one package of eight ounce cream cheese. For decoration you need 12 to 16 ounces of vanilla, almond bark, or candy coating. The last ingredient for decorating is a small amount of chocolate almond bark or candy coating for decorating the truffles. Okay, so I already put some of the Oreos into the food processor. It just, you really want it to be really light, all even. You just want them to be crumbs to where they just all kind of stick together, but you can also separate them. And so this will help when you're mixing it in with the cream cheese that it mix in better. And you also have an even truffle and you won't have just big bites of Oreo in it. So what I did just to get this, I just took some of the Oreos from over here. I put them in and you need to put in a fair amount, but you don't want to put in too much because there is no liquid in there. And you need to remember that because when there's a liquid in there, it helps. But when there's not a liquid, it can make it harder, take longer, things like that. So I set that off to the side. All right, so now I'll put this lid on. And remember to have an adult help you with this. I have an adult helping me. Uh, and just throughout my whole channel, remember that. Okay, so now this is locked in, this lid. And I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna food process some Oreos. <laughs> It's also good to hit the sides, make sure that there's no big chunks of Oreo on the sides of the bowl, and then just give it one more process, and then we can put it in the bowl, finish the others, and then we can continue making our truffles. Okay, our final batch is done. Now we can put this into this into another bowl and combine it with the cream cheese. So what I did is I added the cream cheese and the Oreo mixture and I just mixed them together for a couple minutes until it all was one color evenly combined and it looked like this. Okay, so now that this is all done, we're going to take a cookie scoop. I have a smaller one and we're going to just get even some out of the, this uh, Oreo truffle and put it on a tray and we're going to freeze it for about 20 minutes. Let's start scooping these Oreo truffles. Okay, so I'm all done. I've scooped them all and I've used all the leftovers so there's none left. I've made about one whole tray for me that may be different to you depending on the size of how you make them. But so I'm gonna put this in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes, but it could be more if you wanted if you need to put it in the freezer overnight or something. And I'll see you then. Okay, so these are all done. Uh, they've been in the freezer for about 30 minutes. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna heat up the almond bark, and so we're gonna heat it up until it's all completely liquid, and we'll be able to dip these delicious Oreo truffles in them. To heat up the almond bark, all you need to do is put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, give it a stir, and then repeat this process until your almond bark is completely liquefied. Okay, so we have melted our candy melts, and so now what we can do is we can take the little Oreo balls that we just got out of the freezer and plop them in to this candy melt. Then we're going to put them back on the tray for them to harden. Okay, so these are all done, so now I'm just going to let them cool off for a little bit. After they're all done and dry, we'll microwave the chocolate almond bark and we just kind of pour it over and make a nice little drizzle on it. Okay, so these are all done drying. Uh, they're all hard now and so what I did is I just went ahead and melted the almond bark just like we did with the vanilla almond bark. Now I got it to the liquid consistency as I wanted to. And I'm just going to take my fork and just kind of drag it across all of these. Have a cool design on them with just zigzags. So you just simply take your fork in and then you just kind of scoop a little bit and then you just go across and just zag. 
Well, I'm all done. Uh, and so I still have a good amount of leftover almond bark. So this is what you do. You just let it dry. You just let it dry, then you just put it in a container or a Ziploc bag and you can lose, use it later just like you did now. So, simple as that. But so, I'm all done. I got it to the way I want. I was just trying to make funny designs on them just by just flinging the chocolate on them. And so, yeah, it's super simple. And then you can just plate them and they look so good. Okay, so these are now all done. They've been coated in the vanilla almond bark. Then they've been drizzled with the chocolate almond bark. And now they're ready for the taste test. These are so good. They're so rich and you can bring them with you anywhere. These can be made any time of the season. I mean, in the winter, you could decorate them to look like little snowmen and you should really try these. Make these, these are so good. Thank you so much for watching this video and learning how to make Oreo truffles. Please like, comment, and share on this video. Comment on another easy thing or super hard thing you would like me to make for this channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon after you subscribe so you get notified whenever I upload. Check out the description as well for all the links for stuff that I use and for all my social medias including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. There's a whole bunch more. Check it out. And thank you for watching this video.